Hello and welcome back to the Orcs. What are we doing today? What we do every day? Taking over the world. We are heading up here to attack Morlith next, I believe. We've got a claim in nine months. Uh, I don't believe we have a truce with them. We have troops. I think this is pretty much going to play itself for the first little bit. Um, after we take Morlith, um, we need to think about things. We're going to have to have vassals, which is a new thing. The problem with vassals when you're an orc is that everybody hates you. When I say everybody hates you, I mean it. Like, let's have a look. Council. Everybody hates you. And they hate you mainly because you're an orc. And if they're your vassal, they'll hate you because you're an orc and they're your vassal. And it's just like a load of hate on top of hate here for us here, which is not going to end out very well. Yes, and minus 35 on everyone is definitely not a great thing. Um, now, we are getting a little bit of long rain in here as a positive bonus, which is going to hopefully over time negate some of this, given that orcs in theory live to be like 200. We should get another 160 years of long uh, rain be uh, benefits, but yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure that that's something that we can, uh, it's not really something we can do with conquering and make that stable. So we need to think about that as we're growing and make sure that the people that we're uh, giving land to aren't ever going to rise up against us. We also want to make sure that the people we're giving land to don't do what uh, was done to us, where they attack us and kill us and then take over the, um, the you know, the, uh, the realm. That would be pretty bad. Although... Actually, it wouldn't be too bad, because it would mean that we're always playing the strongest character. Hmm, we'll think about that, we'll think about that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to unpause, let things roll on, and uh, we'll hopefully get this claim. Well, I mean, hopefully, uh, we're going to get the claim 100%, that's the way it works in this game. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing here, Gondor? That's one of my strategies, just leaving your troops there to die uh, starving. Right, task done, fabricate claim, we lose 69 gold, nice, we'll take that. Uh, we don't need to worry about the rest of this. Our court physician has become a novice physician. Nice. Cool. Uh, we got anything in here? Don't need to worry about that. All right. Uh, wait, we have the claim. We could just declare war. You have nearly entirely orc rabble. How are we looking? Uh, in terms of levies, we have 1,400. So we have an extra 800 levies, but like significantly less rabble. But I think la I think the rabble is so bad that I'm going to try and uh, prove a point here by declaring a war. Let's do it. I actually think that we will walk into them and instantly destroy them. I actually do not think it's going to be close. Let's see, though. Where's our troops? We're going to move them into the castle. We're going to wait for them to come over and attack us. Uh, this is even hills, uh, although, so they should get a bonus. Although in hills, thinking about it, uh, don't we get a bonus thanks to these guys? Like, these guys should get a bonus in hills. Yeah, so these ones become even better. Yeah, so not only are we going to have, like, better troops by having levies, we're going to have better troops by having uh, troops that actually thrive in this environment, which sounds great to me. Uh, yeah, they don't have anything like that. That's fantastic. They even have less champions, which probably means that they don't have the um, effectiveness we have either. So yeah, they're just going to walk in and die. Now, I have been told that if I say something instead of uh, do no more than what is necessary, we actually have a chance of curing our disease. Um, I don't think that we necessarily need to. But I would like to not be ill after all this time. Like, we've been ill for a very long time. Let's try new things. Asbed instructed me to step into the empty tub and left me to undress in private. She, uh, Her return was heralded by a loud bar. She was followed by a servant and half a dozen goats. With a deft hand, Asbed proceeded to grab the goats, slit their throats over the tub one by one. The stains on the floor will not go away. Uh, my mind must have been altered, twisted by some dark trick. I never would have agreed to this willingly. The memories haunt me. So I can become craven. Uh, oh, I become Craven no matter what. That's horrible, actually. Craven is a really bad trait. Um, yeah, well, it's actually not. I don't think it might. I don't think it's as bad as it used to be. The reason why Craven used to be really, really bad in Crusader Kings 2 is that it limited the combat tactics you could use in that game, which were basically like you're the same as the dice rolls in this game. It was how effective you were in combat, and um, it limited them to just bad things, basically. Um, so that's why it was really bad in that game. This game, um, it actually looks like it might not be that bad. I mean, it is obviously, like, bad. Uh, and it will cause us to get stress over time with things, but, yeah. 
It, there, there, there's some positives, like likelihood of dying in battle being going down is nice. We're just going to say it will not happen again, and then hopefully uh, we can get an option to become brave later or something. Um, yeah, we still have 45 prowess. That's okay. I mean, look at this. The game thinks we're going to destroy them. I mean, that's only because there's half the troops coming in here, but they get a bonus for defending in hills and more army commander traits, but our commander's better. We have more soldiers and our quality is high. So let's see this. So they attack in here. You demand satisfaction for the slight. What slight? I'm not going to pay you any money. Yeah, good one. See ya. Okay, so if we have a look here. We are ahead. Now they are going to get more in here. But they're going to lose a ton of troops to start with. Um, and then I... Th I'm trying to get this to actually... Oh, yeah. Look, this is actually what I was looking for. Oh, never mind. We're not equal. <laughs> See, we're so far ahead to start with. This is where they start the battle. Like, over here. Um, we actually have more advantage. Uh, they should get... Do they get advantage for being in hills? No, I think it just changed... I don't know. What, what is the hills one again? I need to double check. I always forget. Yeah, combat width is hills. That's, that's the main thing. Uh, and it, it should give them five advantage. Why are they not getting? Why are they not getting five advantage? Maybe it's just rolled into martial. It might just be rolled into martial skill. Anyway, or are we getting the five advantage? No. Okay. I have no idea why uh, they're not getting that. Anyway, whatever. Essentially, the thing is, like, even with that, we start so far ahead. Maybe it's only on the next tick that they get it. Let's have a look here. No. Doesn't really seem to be applying. Interesting. Uh, where are the rest of their troops? Wait, did they already attack in with the rest of their troops? Or did they disband them? What happened to them? Oh no, they're already dead. Oh, I see. They were dead before I got to it. Yeah, okay, so they lost all of their troops. We only lost a th thousand. But when I say lost, the casualties aren't deaths, but yeah. Um, pretty much they got destroyed by our uh, much smaller army. Okay, they're now going to attack us again. It's just guaranteed that's what's going to happen. It said it was going to be close, but uh, I disagree. We've now captured their leader. Um, we could send our leader back and get some money for them, actually. How much money do you have? And are you willing to pay it? That's the next question. Uh, oh, did we capture their son, maybe? Air captured, yeah, yeah. Are you willing to pay money for your air? 50? Yeah, I'll take 50. Uh, let's negotiate a release. I'll recruit you. And I will recruit you with a conversion. There we go. Right, move to the next objective. Uh, I'm actually tempted. Yeah, I'm just going to chase their army. There we go. Got 96. We can head up this way. Work our way towards their capital. And I will take this too. We actually hit 100. Oh, because enemy forces got captured. Uh, okay. Well, gonna negotiate release. Recruit. I think that's why we got it. Or was it taking war score? Oh, it was taking war score. Never mind. That's fine. I'm just gonna siege this down. If it looks like they'll siege quicker, then, like, I'll just end the war. Um, I'm willing to try new things. Greatly reduced disease symptoms. Okay, well, that's not really what we were looking for. Yeah, I'll just punch someone. That's an orc thing to do. Uh, how many days have you got left on yours? 19. How many days have I got left? 30. Alright, I'll just end the war. That's fine. Right, new land. Okay, so we'll head back. Disband our troops. Are we looking with prisoners? Prisoners are sorted. We'll clear these out. We'll clear that out for just now. Guardian for you. My son and heir, you're getting a martial education. Perfect. Do we have anybody good at that? Uh, I guess we're probably fine. Yeah, we're, we can at least guide them, which is, you know, going to be um, a positive here. Right, so, uh, this extra bit of land, have we got any chance of keeping it? No, because our managed domain is only a plus one here, which we get already from assist ruler. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to push up our stewardship enough to actually hold it. Yeah, actually, if we had another... Two, if Actually, I'm just looking at it. Yeah, if we had another two stewardship on top of this, so a plus three bonus overall, we would actually be able to hold that land, which would be quite nice, because I think that we would get another domain at um, ten stewardship. Anyway, doesn't really matter. What is our base, anyway? Duke plus two, bailiffs plus one, ledger plus one, stewardship plus one. 
Yeah, yeah. So we would get another one if we had another little bit of stewardship. But we don't. So what's the plan? I guess we have to give away our worst bit of land. What is our worst bit of land? Um, I don't know. This one's currently building a small hill fort. So that's 1.25, 0 0.55, 0 0.55, 0 0.55, 2.3. This gets a zero, but uh, when does this expire? This expires on the third of the... F next year. This expires next year. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out how much that would make, but it's very hard to when it doesn't give you the actual calculation. I wish it would tell you how much it's making and give you like a minus a thousand to... Uh, the amount you actually make instead of doing this. So that I can see how much our base income is. Um, but that's fine. Is there another way of seeing base income on this one? Uh, I don't think so. This is probably our worst holding as we just got it. Let me just check our duchies as well. Yeah, so we probably want to, in the end, be holding that land. So we don't really care about holding this one that's all the way up this way. Uh, let's find somebody to hold it for us then. Okay. Who do we think could hold this land? I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe I do the exact opposite of what I was saying earlier and just give it to the most powerful orc in the land. Yeah, we could just do that. So let's go for Realm. Yeah, Realm is mine. Then go Marshall, go, hey, you're the next most powerful orc. I'm gonna grant you this title. Perfect. Yankthak. Uh, he's very happy. Weirdly not a powerful vassal. You would have thought you would be a powerful vassal at this point, but anyway. Um, oh, right. Well, wait, did that make him independent? No. So why is it not suggesting him for this? Oh, because it's suge suggesting that this mayor might be a powerful vassal. Now, I think Yagthak is going to be a powerful vassal. I don't know why he's not listed as one. Maybe it's because the land currently has zero tax. Yeah, zero tax and zero levies, maybe. Oh no, it says he has 500 levies. It's probably just not calculated. Let's wait till next month. You're a powerful vassal yet? No. Do you have tax yet? You do. Okay, so actually, this... Um, oh, this would have been making the same as the 0 0.5 ones, effectively, because um, he's got the plus one from Realm Capital in there. Okay, that's fine. Right, so now where do we want to go? So we got a human. You're not allied with anyone. And you have less levies. Oh, actually, levies. Uh, having less levies is good for you. Yeah, you have a very strong army, in, potentially. Um, I think we want to fabricate a claim on him, though, if we can make that work. Let's fabricate a claim here. Right, and then when I'm doing that, I'm also going to get ourselves another mountain orc warrior. Or, or another 200, I should say. Because I think they're probably pretty good. The Fall of Gondolin. As I read the tales of the First Age, I stop to study the fall of Gondolin. For nearly 75 years, Turgon and his people secretly built uh, Gondolin. Thanks to the seven gates of the Hidden Path, uh, the city lived 400, years of uh, lived 400 years of prosperity and remained hidden from the eyes of the Dark Lord. However, the traitor Meglin, Turgon's nephew, was captured outside the city and through torture revealed the location of the city. Morgoth's forces subsequently sacked and razed the city. Okay, so we can say, um, ignoring Ulmo's warn, uh, Turgon ignored Ulmo's warning, pride was his doom. That gets us Holy Warrior, which is quite nice if we're hostile to a faith, although that's actually not what we're dealing with right now. Forder, there isn't really any, ri well, there aren't really any rivers that we need to worry about around here. I mean, there's like this one maybe, or maybe this. I suppose there's a few over here, but I'm not that worried about it. What's the last one? Flexible leader. 50% down on enemy defensive advantage. That's fantastic. I'll take that one. Yeah, that's just always good. Right, uh, here, hit and run. Uh, we lose less for retreating. Uh, we do more damage with heavy infantry, spearmen, and archers. We don't have any of the <laughs> of the above. Um, men at arms counter efficiency. We don't have any of that. We also don't have any of this really. Uh, sappers. Let me let me have a look here. Maybe we do have some of them. What what do you count as? You count as skirmishers. So we do have skirmishers technically, and you count as skirmishers. All right. So if we can get a bonus to skirmishers, then we're laughing. Ooh, I'm actually just looking at sappers here. So, skirmishers give you siege progress. 
Now that's very interesting because we have a lot of them. And that's a flat number that is adding on to skirmishers. So if we have like, you know, th um, 3,000 skirmishers or something, that's going to actually add up fairly quickly. We could do something with that. Increasing their damage and toughness also makes them less bad. Yeah, let's take that one. Okay, I'm, I'm more into it now that I, I read it some more. That's fine. Right, to continue uh, building up. A little bit of money. Uh, designate a guardian for Lundbed. What are you doing? Oh, you're dying. I see. Uh, there you go. We'll get you to educate her. Uh, choice is up to my daughter. Yeah, yeah. She can decide how she wants to be treated. That's fine. Um, I think it, what that actually means is more um, the AI will just decide the treatment, which is fine. Um... Yeah, winter... I was trying to figure out why I went on there. Seven months. All right, seven months we can declare a war. Champion practice. The clanging of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my ears as my champions practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them, for as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee, the stable doors are opened. It's time to bring out the mounts. Um, I can say bring me my armor, I haven't ridden on the Quintain in ages, so we get a health boost and prowess, or we're going field riding. Field riding. A hilltop view. Yankbug um, glances at the mud fields at the bottom of the hill. Those could serve as a, the outline of an enemy army, he says, and for my champions as I inspect their battle line, preparing them for the strategy at hand. Uh, charge, I would like aggressive attacker please, increases enemy fatal casualties, so we lower their defensiveness and give them more casualties, fantastic. I couch my spear and lead the riders in a mad dash down the hill, however, um, among all the seeming chaos of shifting armor, raised weapons, battle cries, there is a plan, as we smash into the imaginary army on the field below, every soldier finds their place in our line, readying strikes, falling back, twisting reins, and leaping back into the fray. We will rush over our enemies like a force of nature, and they will break like a tree before the tempest. Nice, we got aggressive attacker. Love it. Okay, let it roll a little bit more. My daughter no longer has pneumonia. Give me a new treatment. Give me something, give me another one. Uh, greatly reduced disease symptoms. Alright, well we've read this a few times, so I'm not going to read it on this series, but basically... Oh, uh, you know what, I'll read it anyway. In a grand ceremony in Minas Tirith, uh, Aragorn II, heir of Isildur and champion of the, or chieftain of the Dúnedain of Arnor, has been proclaimed the King of Gondor, High King of the Dúnedain in exile, Lord of the West. He has proven his identity beyond all doubt, bearing Arundel Narsil reforged, and his claim has been accepted by the lords and people of Gondor. In his youth, he was Thorgil, the Eagle of the Star, and in Gondor and Rohan alike, that name served with valor and distinction. The people of Gondor have not forgotten their great cha uh, captain, now returned at an hour unexpected, and their joy is as bright as the sun in summer. It is a happening unlooked for by the people of the south, the line of Isildur long ago deemed dead and gone, yet already a change in the winds can be felt, a people's will ringing upon the waves, and silver trumpets proclaiming their defiance. Gondor. Long lethargic stirs from its stupor and seems to be regaining its long fading strength. Gondor's allies rejoice while those that are set against the Dunedain have been seized with a great terror and despair for seeing in the return of the king their doom. Um, accursed Dunedain, your end shall come soon, king or no. Fantastic. So basically, we now have um, Aragorn. He'll probably change his name soon, I would imagine. Blackmail. I know that you are Gothmogga's real killer. Who the hell is Gothmogga? Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the somebody like you were getting an alliance or something, and then I killed you. And all right, yeah, yeah, got it. Um, if you wish for my silence, do as I say. No. You exposed my murder secret. Who cares? I'm an orc. I'm a murderer. Y y you got me. Okay. Hey. Um, Lumbed comes of age. She is a thrifty clerk. Okay. My secret's exposed! Oh no! They know that I'm a bloodthirsty orc! Whatever will I do? Um, right. Let's see here. Um, that's the one I'm looking for. Right. So, I want you. You're gonna marry matrilineally to the person of highest marshal. We're just trying to bring in people to our court. There we go. 
So we'll bring you in. Right, uh, that's all fine. Let that go. Uh, what we got here? 27 days. Cool. In 27 days, we will declare a war. Oh, I can get all of it? Never mind. In 27 days, we will not declare a war. We will wait for the uh, money to come in. That's fantastic. Um, so that's going to get... That was a claim on the whole duchy. So we can get all three of those in one war, which is great. A sword strikes across my chest plate. An elbow slams into my helmet. A, sword, a soldier is easily... A soldier easily avoids my clumsy counter. The mock battle rages around me, but I struggle to find my focus. I'm tempted to let my guard down as soon as the fighting lulls, but I know the second assault is about to start. Eat it head on or withdraw? Uh, head on, definitely. Yeah. Let's, let's go. We became wounded, but that's okay. Um, but with that, I think I might end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time for our war against Karan. See you then. Goodbye.